Um, hi. Hello guys, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. Y'all, today we are talking about my seventh book by this author. Y'all already know who it is, Colleen freaking Hoover. We are talking about regretting you. I swear, Colleen Hoover just continues to blow my mind. Like I just said, this is the seventh book I've read by her and everything she writes is so different but it's so uniquely her at the same time. Like you totally know that it's like her writing style, her writing voice, but all of her stories, all of her characters, all of her like genres even are so very different, but she just does them all so well. Like, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how her brain works, how she comes up with all of these ideas, but it's just these concepts that are just so good and so interesting. And she just knows how to like spin them in a way, tell them in a way that just keeps you so captivated. Like every book that I've read by her, I literally cannot put it down. I have been in such a reading slump at the beginning of this month. It has been so rough. And I literally was like, I need to read a Colleen Hoover book or I am never gonna be able to dig myself out of this. Like this is just not my month. And sure enough, I picked up Regretting You and it got me right out of the slump. I flew through this in like a day and a half. I couldn't put it down. So I'm very excited to talk to you guys about it. If you guys watch my channel, you will know that I do not like giving spoilers away if I don't have to. Like I wanna be able to just generally talk to you guys about a book because I wanna convince you to go read it yourself. That's what this channel's about, sharing our love for books. So I don't wanna just give you the story, but this book is hard to talk about without giving any spoilers because like such a big aspect of the story is something that is very like shocking and the experience of reading it at this point with Colleen Hoover books like I just go in completely blind I briefly read the synopsis on like my first book of hers but everyone after that I just picked it up knowing absolutely nothing about it so going into this book totally blind not knowing what was coming I was mind blown when that Thing was revealed but anyways I don't want to harp on it too much because I don't want to give it away so I'm gonna try my best to talk about this generally and not spoil it for you because y'all need to go read this book so this story follows two girls a girl named Morgan and a girl named Clara it is told from both of their point of views every chapter switches back and forth and what's really interesting about these two girls is that they are actually mother and daughter. So we actually start this story from Morgan's point of view. 17 years in the past when Morgan is 17 herself, Morgan has a sister named Jenny and they are both dating best friends. So Morgan is dating this guy, Chris. She's been with him for a while. They're high school sweethearts and Jenny is dating Chris's best friend, Jonah. So they're this cute little double date friend group. They hang out every weekend. They're, they're really close. They party together. And even though Chris and Morgan are very in love and Jonah and Jenny, they're a newer relationship, but you know, they're having a good time together. Nobody in the friend group has a relationship quite like Morgan and Jonah, you can see right off the bat that like, they kind of have this like deeper connection and chemistry, but obviously they are dating the other sister, the other friend. So nothing, nothing has ever happened there. Nothing is really going to happen there. You just, you can feel it. You're seeing it through Morgan's eyes. You know, something's going on there. In the same moment that you know and realize that Morgan is pregnant. Unplanned, obviously, she is a teenager and it is Chris's child and so her whole world is about to turn upside down. She is now having a daughter at the age of 17. So basically, right after that first chapter, we fast forward 17 years and we now know that Morgan and Chris did end up having a daughter. Her name is Clara. She is now 17 herself. And present day, Morgan and Chris are married. They're still together. And Jonah and Jenny are actually recently together once again. So they had their little run in high school. We clearly know for some reason, Jonah left the picture. Um, he moved away kind of suddenly, but a few months back, Jonah and Jenny ended up kind of getting back together. It was Jonah's father's funeral and Jenny happened to go to it. They ended up having a one night stand and Jenny ended up pregnant. So Jonah is now back in Jenny's life because they have had a son, his name is Elijah. And so the whole gang is kind of back together and you're seeing present day that there is some tension between Morgan and Jonah. You can see that Morgan doesn't totally approve of Jenny and Jonah's relationship. There's just a lot of underlying stuff there. We're trying to figure out like, why did Jonah leave? Why, what's going on between them? Colleen Hoover has a way of like, keeping things from you and keeping you wondering and keeping you on the edge of your seat as always. So that's kind of like 
where we're at present day. So from there, throughout this book, every other chapter goes between Morgan's perspective and Clara's perspective. We kind of have like two stories going on at one time that are kind of separate from each other, but there's also kind of like a main story that meets in the middle, which I'll try to explain in a second. But as we're introduced to Clara, we learn that she is 16, about to turn 17 in a week. She dreams of being an actress. You know, she's in high school, she has a best friend, and she has this total crush on this guy named Miller. She's been crushing on him for a while. And the beginning of the story is kind of her like, shooting her shot with him a little bit. She sees him on the side of the road and it looks like he needs a ride or he needs some help or something. She drives past him and then she's like, you know what? Now's the time. She skirts, turns around, ends up picking him up. And they kind of like, that's their introduction to each other. They kind of like hit it off right away. Miller is a very like interesting character. He's very kind of like, smooth but also just kind of like weird and quirky and they they totally like mesh with each other but Miller currently has a girlfriend and so it's like okay not gonna happen whatever it's like there's some tension we know something's gonna happen but we're kind of introduced to that in the beginning um we can see clearly from Clara's perspective that her and her mother have a lot of like conflict with each other and we're seeing what Clara thinks of her mother we see that you know, she feels that Morgan is a very strict mom, that she isn't the most supportive of her dreams at all times. She's just like practical, wants all her ducks in a row, and Clara feels a lot of pressure from that. Aunt Jenny is the person that Clara is the closest to in the world. They text all the time, they're super close. She always goes to her for advice rather than going to her mom, I guess, cause like Jenny's the cool aunt. They just, they've always gotten along better than Clara and Morgan have. And basically that's kind of like the intro of the story. We kind of see the dynamic between everybody, like Jonah and Jenny have this new baby, Chris and Morgan have Clara, and it's Clara's like a teenager navigating life in high school and trying to figure out her future and newly kind of having a crush and a thing with this boy and then the whole world kind of explodes in one moment when uh, Chris ends up in an accident. And this is the part that's hard to talk about without spoiling things. So all I will say is that with the accident, something very mysterious happened with it. Something is revealed to be very confusing. It's very much of a bombshell. It kind of shatters everything everybody knew about everything and everyone. It kind of turns everyone's world upside down. It's a very big moment and it's very hard on Morgan and it's very hard on Clara in very separate ways. Throughout this story after that, you're kind of seeing like Jonah and Morgan having to deal with this on their end. Like Jonah has just lost his best friend. Morgan has obviously lost her husband and Clara has lost her dad. So from there on out, like they're dealing with that and Clara is just distraught over this. Obviously like her dad in her eyes was like the most perfect person in the entire world. Like her dad was good cop. Her mom has always been the one that's like a lot harder on her. And so she is just devastated by this loss obviously. And then Morgan is devastated in other ways because she knows details about this accident that Clara does not and her and Jonah now are just dealing with this and at the same time getting closer once again because they've really just re-entered each other's lives at the time that Chris gets in this accident and Chris is dead by the way if I didn't make that obvious. So from that point this story is kind of like two separate romances. It's Clara and Miller and their kind of journey and then Morgan and Jonah's kind of like second chance romance. Like I said, those are kind of two stories happening separately, but at the same time, they're interweaved by the fact that Clara is Morgan's daughter, Morgan is Clara's mother, and they've both just lost like the person that has kept their family together all this time in an accident with crazy conditions. And it really is just like a wild, crazy, emotional ride. The story is just very different from Colleen Hoover's other books and just other books that I've read in general because I don't know that I would categorize this as a romance. Like I said, like there there is romance happening within it, but the true point of this book and the true focus of it is the relationship between mothers and daughters. And I guess just in general, the relationship between children and their parents. 
it's so interesting reading this being a daughter myself like colleen hoover captured so well the way that a daughter thinks about her mother like i just feel like look not to get all like back in my day on y'all i'm not that freaking old i'm 24 but when you're a daughter you go through these phases with your mother you know whenever you're a kid you like think your mom is like everything she's so cool like you want to hang out with her all the time and, like copy everything she does and then as you kind of like grow older she just does things that like get on your nerve for no reason you start to think that she's like super annoying and weird and then you start to just like not want to be around her you want her space you don't want her to bug you and then you're just like fighting and butting heads and then you kind of like get older and you start to like see some of your mother and yourself and some of yourself and her and then once you kind of go off to college you start to appreciate her more and then kind of like before you know it you and your mom are like friends and you're drinking a beer together and you're like what the heck why why was i hating on you and why was i so rude to you all these years and like the reason that we argued so much is because we're so similar and i think it's like so easy to forget when you're a kid that your parents like they were once kids too you know like they're just people nobody knows what they're doing like we all think our parents like have it all figured out and like they know everything but like they are just you know they're you they were you when they were younger and now they're just older you know what i mean and so that's what was so cool about this story because it's like you're seeing it through clara's perspective in all honesty like morgan's perspective was my favorite part of this story like i i liked seeing things through her eyes more i feel like maybe that means i'm getting older i don't know but like the things that clara was like angry at her mother about the way she reacted to things like i had to think back to like teenagers and stuff and i'm like i 100 percent understand like if i was in Clara's situation I'm sure I would have acted that same way towards my mother but like you see it from Morgan's perspective and you're like and now that you've been in Morgan's head you're like oh my god I can't believe Clara just said that and kind of like vice versa like it was just done so well like seeing Morgan's motivations for things the reasons that you know she was so hard on Clara because obviously she made this mistake when she was younger of getting pregnant so young and in a lot of ways she felt like she's missed out on life and she just doesn't want that for clara she wants her to be able to you know have the things that she didn't get to have and be able to like be successful and do things in life but obviously clara needs to be able to make her own decisions make her own mistakes and that's like the only way you learn is by just doing and figuring things out and it just was ah it was just so good and it really just like made you think i love books like that where you finish it and you feel like you just kind of i don't know have a new perspective on stuff i feel like i just had so many flashbacks to high school and just fights i had with my mom for no reason like me and my mom are very cool now like we're fine but we definitely had our moments like all teenage girls do where you just don't see eye to eye on stuff or you just don't understand why your mom is the way she is and it was just cool it was cool to see that mother's perspective and it was i feel especially just cool in my age being kind of in that middle ground where i feel like i could totally see both sides of the story but yeah this was like the rambliest review i've ever given and it was so hard to talk about this book because like i don't want to spoil things but i want you guys to go read it because it was really just that like thought-provoking and different and interesting i gave it four stars in the end like it which four stars is like a very good rating for me it wasn't my favorite colleen hoover book it wasn't like the best thing i've ever read but it was really really good and i totally recommend that you go read it literally this video has taken me so long to film that the sun is like gone down my lighting is garbage so i think that means it is time for me to go <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you have read regretting you leave all your comments about it down below if you haven't read it yet maybe don't go to the comments because i feel like there's going to be some mega spoilers down in there but yeah that's it for me today thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you very soon bye